<clears throat> Welcome back to Best Man Made. I'm your guy, Mac. Sorry for the wait, fellas, okay? I gotta start stacking these videos. I had planned to stack the videos, but life got in the way, so I'm back on that plan. We're gonna, we're gonna get them stacked. Today, I wanna do something very simple. It's time to go ahead and call it like it is. I wanna throw the dice out there, let things be as it's gonna be, show my hand, whatever you wanna call it. I wanna go ahead right now, today, sever it. Let's separate the men from the boys. Roll it. All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and put everything to rest, all right? We're gonna go ahead and sever the head from the neck. Um, that sounds so graphic. But today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna point out the top three things that separate boys from men, separate men from boys because there's a lot of nuances to what it is to be a man. There's a lot of different definitions of what it is to be a man, but I don't want to go through all 50,000 of those things. I want to just give you three because I know time is of the essence. I get that. So I'm going to focus on three things to be able to let you know this separates men from boys. Okay. Let me tell you where this is coming from. This is coming from a good place. I always speak to my, my man, our man, our man is a principal. Uh, you know, not too far from where I live. And the thing about him is, um, smart brother, talented guy, right? But the kids he works with, he's like, man, listen, Mac, I'll be honest with you. You know, we love what you're doing, what you're talking about as far as, you know, the fit, the look. Today I kind of got my, my t-shirt look. You see, whoa, look at that shelf of a chest. Man, <clears throat> I can move some, move some things around. <sighs> Number three is responsibility. Responsibility is handling matters of expectation and necessity, okay, requirement. Things that you have to say, okay, I am responsible for this. Now when it starts off as a, as, a, as a little boy, as a kid, a lot of times you're responsible to pick up, you know, after yourself, right? To clean up your room, to do your homework, to do things like that. So at a very young age, People are trying to get you to start learning discipline. Responsibility are signs of discipline. I can't say it enough. A lot of people don't have the discipline to even exercise, to eat right, to take care of their own self, right? To make it in this world. I ain't talking about to just succeed and, and have a $500,000 you know, year salary. I'm not talking about that. But to make it in this world as a person, right? To be likable, to be successful, to be just uh, of worth. You have to take and understand responsibility, okay? Some of y'all started out, you had a pet, right? You're responsible for the pet. You gotta feed the pet. You gotta walk the pet. You know what I'm saying? You gotta clean the pet, whatever it might be. But the reason, that, again, that you're learning these things is because you're learning how to be disciplined enough to take care of yourself. If you cannot take care of yourself and you are above the age 18, well, let me not, let me not even go there, right? You know, here's the thing, man. In the world we live in today, there's a lot of times where people have to have this characteristic of being a man at the age of six, right? Let's be real. There's a lot of kids right now that are six years old that have more responsibilities than some of these guys that are 40. I'm going to tell you what I know. I've seen these kids out here who are, who are actually, in a lot of ways, taking care of not only their parents sometimes, but taking care of their other brothers and sisters. They're cooking. They're cleaning. They're getting them ready for school, right? I've seen these situations where you got preteens in there checking over their, their younger siblings' homework, asking them did they get it out, checking over, challenging them, making sure that they know that kind of stuff before their test. That's another. That's a different kind of responsibility, right? And a lot of these kids, you know, doing that, that shows an actual uh, level of discipline that a lot of adults by age don't have. There's people out there that are 40 years old right now that don't have the responsibility it takes to take care of themselves. And if you were one of those guys, you're just not a man. Let's be honest. That's, not, that's just that's being very specific, okay? So whether you are eight years old or 80, you should be able to be responsible for not only yourself, but the other things as well. This is all about discipline. 
Number two, having a sense of morality. What I mean by morality? Very simple and basic a definition is knowing right from wrong. But see, here's the reality about morality. I like how that sounds. Here's the reality about morality. The reality is that sometimes right and wrong, it's not so black and white. Sometimes it's gray. You know, when we're younger, our parents kind of tell us things that are right and wrong, right? Like you shouldn't hit somebody, right? That's what you learn. That's one of the first things you learn. Keep your hands to yourself. Sometimes you learn, yeah, if you get hit, you hit back. I mean, you know, whatever it may be, how people may push it. But, but the whole idea is you do not um, treat people how you, you treat people how you want to be treated, okay? That's a sense of morality. That's like a basic sense of it. When you get a little bit more educated, a little bit more experienced, you realize that as a human being, people deserve a certain amount of respect. There's a certain amount of rights that just people should have as people, okay? I'll give you a good example, man. I, I, was, uh, I was walking in D.C. going to a meeting at NAFA with, 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 uh, with, uh, with Lisa Rice, with my man um, Ice Life, uh, Sierra Honey Dip. I was out there going to do a video, my man Gregory. Um, I was going out there to shoot this video, and I'm walking downtown D.C. not even, not even afternoon, right? 11 o'clock, maybe, maybe 10.30 in the morning, something like that. And I see this couple walking in front of me. And they're looking down, and I can see they're looking towards, you know, like the side or whatever a little bit. And this, it kind of like this, you know, looking down, they go, you know. You can tell from their back, it was like, oh, you know, it's kind of like that, right? And they look, and they do this, and then I see they kind of do this, and they, and you see this. So they're laughing, right? They're, 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 they're laughing about what they saw. I didn't think much about it. I had my headphones on, I'm in the zone. I gotta go to a freaking meeting, right? So I walk up a little bit further, and I look down to my left, and I see that one thing, Downtown DC, 8th Street, I think we're on 8th Street. You know, one thing you're gonna find in DC is a is a collection of it's a collection of homeless, all right? There's there's homeless people uh, a lot spread around DC. I remember going to Seattle. Was it Seattle? No, no, Portland. Which is so strange because Portland has like the youngest looking homeless people I've ever seen in my life. They're like 20 years old and they're like fit and they look clean, but anyway. Um, in DC there was a guy out, and not only was he was he laid out, you know, um, on the sidewalk, on the, on the, you know, pretty much right where you walk, uh, but you know his clothes were halfway down and not halfway, they were all the way down, so you could see you could see his business, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, there's certain things you can that, that are, you know, it, it depends on the context of the situation, right? You can see certain things on TV and it might be funny, or whatever, but you see real life like this, you know what I'm saying? You look at it. And, um, you know, you feel a certain way about it. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna put too much heavy judgment on what they did, but I don't think that a laugh or a snicker and pointing and all that kind of stuff was necessary. Morality charges you with something extra, okay? Morality charges you with judgment, and really it, it's, it's based on respect, okay? Morality is based on respect. And I think a lot of times when it comes to, to morality in today's time, we're talking about human rights, right? Um, things that humans, uh, just as a person, should be able to have, um, what is it, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness? Is that, it might be it, I don't even know. But being able to say that you respect human life enough to treat people as you want to be treated, uh, that shows a certain sign of respect. And I, you know, one thing I really want to get on guys right now, since this is best man made, is about women. All right, we use, we use too many terms to uh, discredit, to dehumanize, to degrade women. And I mean, I just, it's just kind of, it's, it's to a point where it's gotta be said. I don't care if it's either, you know, calling women the B word, H word, S word, whatever it might be, all right? If you don't know what those words are, good for you, but my point is call them outside of that. It's, and doing it simply because you call them that, you know what I'm saying? Not even because it even has even kind of a, a issue that brought about that type of thought process, just calling women this, thoughts, one, that's one I, oh my God, just, uh, I mean, look, I got four older sisters, a mom, a wife, and a daughter. Not even count my aunts and my grandma. I'm just trying to say, like very many of these guys out here, we are a generation, we are our people raised from our women, you know what I'm saying? And, and our strength is in our women. So, so I just think that being, uh, having some kind of moral compass, some kind of mor mor morality, some type of ethic uh, to the things that you do is so huge, which is why I rank it number two. Now, 
my number one thing. My number one thing is so undeniable, I wanted to do a video just based off of this one thing and one thing alone. That one thing, that one thing that is a sign, that is a specific difference between men and boys is accountability. Accountability is gold because accountability is a sign of maturity, uh, maturation. If you, if you can be accountable, that shows a level of you being a mature person, mature uh, being a man. Um, I, I'm a, let, me, let me go off, off the cuff a little bit and say this. I think one of the biggest problems people have with people of authority right now, I guess is the best way to put it, um, is the lack of accountability. If you wrong, say you wrong. If you messed up, say you messed up, okay? Being able to say that you are responsible for your actions and your words is important, it's, it's necessary, okay? For people to have trust in you, to believe in you, to be loyal to you, or whatever, to be able to just put you in a certain situation, a certain circumstance of worth, you have to be accountable for your actions and your words. There's far too many times people do something that just, they may either don't say anything about it, or they distract you about it. And say, ah, don't worry about that. You know, look, there's a white rabbit over there. You know, what? Or they, they simply blame it on something else. Blame is the absolute, it's just, it's just so immature. You know? So I say, hey man, you know, you said you were gonna do this. No, 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 I didn't say that. Hey man, you know, the fact that you just said that, it's actually your fault. Because the way you said it, you know, I knew you were gonna say that, so that's why I didn't do it. I mean, you know, really? I mean, so accountability is a huge thing. I mean, and I, I, can, I can say there's plenty more to this to talk about, but I really wanted to point out those three things. But I'll tell you this, there's a lot of things that don't define what a man is, okay? And a lot of these things, for some odd reason, one, one, one way or another, these things come up time and time again. What you got? You know, how much can you lift? You know, how many, what many, how many girls you got? What kind of car you drive? These things, man, they don't mean nothing. They don't, they don't make you a man. Because as we all know right here, right now, on Best Man Made, boys are born. Men of me. We'll see you next time. <laughs>